Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. Who else would it be? I mean, come on. Uh, today I wanted to talk about um, something that I haven't talked about before on my channel, which is writing. I am, as you know, an independent author. I publish historical novels, mainly focused on the Civil War. And I'm also a fan fiction writer, which is something that not many people may know about me outside of the fan fiction community, specifically Supernatural. Um, I guess what I wanted to talk about was the stigma that comes with fan fiction. I don't know if it's so much a stigma anymore as it is... Um, a lack of understanding of what it is and what it's about. Um, basically, for me anyway, I use fan fiction as a way to clear my mind from my regular writing topics um, because, you know, the Civil War and writing about that can be really heavy and difficult. So, I use different genres to play with and stretch my writing muscles, so to speak. And fan fiction is a good, safe way for me to do that. The characters are already there. I don't have to spend so much time making up and developing character traits and things like that because they're already there. The tools are already there for me to use. And also, um, fan fiction is a good way to experiment with different types of writing. Um, like I said, I use it to explore different genres, mainly science fiction or fantasy or things like that and it's actually opening my eyes to the possibility of branching out my indie publishing into other genres besides historical fiction i'm actually thinking about incorporating paranormal elements more often into my historical fiction and um i would never have discovered that part of myself as a writer if i hadn't tried out fan fiction this past year. Um, I also am not a writer who uses sexual themes just because I didn't think I was any good at it. I, d I never really tried before. Occasionally I did, but it just... I don't know. I, for some reason with me, if I have to spend a lot of time making up the characters and going with that, I, I actually spend more time doing that than I do the writing. And, um, you know, when you're trying out something that makes you insecure to start with, which is, like, say, some people write sexual themes or other people write fantasy themes, um, you know, with potions and monsters and things like that, um, it can be scary to, to work on those things. And I just think that fan fiction is a good, safe way to try out those things. And I would not have been so willing to try out new stuff if I didn't have that built-in community that gives you ready-made feedback. And by ready-made feedback, I mean I can post a new story and within an hour I have three or four comments of praise or criticism. And it has actually helped me become a better writer. Um, I have noticed that my narrative in general, whether I'm writing historical fiction or fantasy, um, my narrative has gotten tighter. Uh, my language has gotten cleaner. And um, that's because in the fan fiction world, people generally need faster pacing to keep their interest. Whereas in historical novels, the language, when it's done with an authentic flair, will become more flowery and not so fast-paced like people like to read today. So f writing fan fiction has forced me to really be economical with my language and I find that extremely helpful. It forces me to choose which plot elements are important and which ones are not important. And um, so what I'm basically saying is when people hear that someone writes fan fiction and they go, Ooh, really? Are you serious? You're a geek like that? I really caution people not to, to look at it that way because, in all honesty, as much bad fan fiction as there is out there, and trust me, there's a lot of bad fan fiction out there, there's just as much bad indie publishing out there as well. And 
and um, mainstream publishing. There's just terrible stuff out there. I mean, Fifty Shades of Grey is a perfect example of that. Fifty, Sh Fifty Shades of Grey started as fan fiction, which then went into indie publishing, as I recall, and then went and got picked up by mainstream publishing when they realized um, how well it was selling. But those of us in the fan fiction world are like, that's not a great novel to be putting us on the map. I mean, the, it's just not. Um, I mean, without getting into exactly why it's not a good idea, because this blog will turn into a why Fifty Shades of Grey is a bad novel. Um, it's just not representative of the fan fiction world in general. Uh, the, the authors I've met in the fan fiction world are all intelligent people. And many of them are student writers uh, trying to develop their own voices. Granted, I am a little bit older um, in my early 30s, uh, but I don't really think age matters because um, as writers, you should never stop learning and you should never stop experimenting. And this has given me a free license to try out new things. Now, the downside to fan fiction is some people who make up these characters like say Anne Rice for example I know she doesn't like fan fiction of her novels she encourages people to go out and try um, creating their own individual fictional worlds and I completely understand that because if people were writing fan fiction about my characters I would feel a little predatory and territorial about that um, but on the other hand as long as they're not publishing the stories with their own names on them and basically ripping off my characters and my plot themes and my fictional worlds with their own names and making money off of it I'm I'm mostly okay with it and I kind of have a really laid-back attitude about that and I know a lot of other authors don't or TV people don't so if it is kind of a, a difficult situation to find a balance. Nobody can actually encourage you to write fan fiction if they are under contract and things like that. It's it's a big complicated mess. But when you use it as exercises, like I do, I don't really see any harm in it. I'm not out there making money off of fan fiction or anything of that nature. You'll never see me publish something that resembles Dean and Sam Winchester um, because I would never dream of taking that away from Eric Kripke who created those characters. But I use them as writing exercises and that's okay and as, as a writer I think he would understand that. Fan fiction does not make you a geek. I don't mean that in the own your geekdom way because if you're proud of being a geek then own it it's about a word hurting you only if you let it hurt you if someone calls you a geek and it hurts you that's because you're letting it hurt you but if someone calls you a geek and you wear it like a badge you own it and you own your fandoms and you are happy participating in your fandoms and nobody can take that away from you. So write fan fiction all you want. Create all the fan art you want. Because I, as an indie author personally, I am all in favor of people who are willing to exercise their creativity. And I believe that these things are safe ways for people to try out their creative energies. And it pushes people into original ideas. And it can create authors in their own right. A lot of authors started in fan fiction and a lot of artists started in fan art so give it a try and don't look down on people who do it because you never know which authors are out there writing it. So as always comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!